Kia ora. Alio, ora, the Honourable Tauhanari. Speaker, nai te mihi kia koutou katoa, ia kou rangatira, ia kou tuakana, i hare mai nei, i tēnei wa. Nō reira, nei pātai au, kia koutou, ko wai tēnei ngāpui e tūana i mua i a koutou. Nō reira, e rongo whakātā hau. Mr. Speaker, so who am I? Um, Mr. Speaker, briefly, I, sometimes I ask myself that, my, that myself, who am I? Um, but this is who I am, um, for all and sundry to know. I'm, I, I come out of uh, Te Noke, who was a sister of Hauora, who was a sister of Rahuruhi uh, Rukupo. Mr. Speaker, uh, the artistic um, side of, of, of uh, my lineage somehow has deserted me and um, it's jumped to my son who um, uh, is, a, is a student at Toihokura in Gisborne. Um, so it all sort of fits, uh, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, I'm um, over the moon to be able to have a few minutes in the House tonight, ostensibly because uh, of what I consider to be the most heinous crimes perpetuated against the people. Mr Speaker, uh, not only uh, were members of Rongo Whakata summarily executed, and that's what they were, they were killed, they were murdered, they were taken out the back and shot, Mr Speaker. Um, and and uh, their house, their Rukupo car, and we're not talking about uh, um, uh, a, uh, uh, a nickel and dime artist, Mr Speaker. We're talking about a person who, who uh, is the equivalent, most probably, of somebody like Picasso, somebody like Rembrandt. And if we really knew our history and really wondered at our history, Rukupo would be in, uh, in that category, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, um, my... Uh, my brother over there, Parikura, uh, mentioned that I, I got hitched last night. Um, <laughs> I still had to make her a cup of coffee this morning. <laughs> so nothing's changed. <laughs> but Mr Speaker, um, her connections, um, some will know that she uh, is Ngāti Pro on her mother's side. But also, sir, she is out of Teitanga Mahaki, Arapeta Tatanifa, Mr. Speaker, whose daughter was taken to the Chathams and perished on the Chathams uh, as part of the retribution that the Crown uh, uh, laid out to, to Korti and his followers, sir. Uh, sir, every time uh, for the last 12 months that I have been in, in the Gisborne area, I've, I've jumped in a car and travelled around Ngātapa and little spots around Rongofakata, uh, wondering who I was um, and also getting a feel for, uh, like I said, what were the most heinous of crimes perpetuated on a, on a people in New Zealand. And so, sir, my uh, reason for standing here tonight, sir, is not so much to talk about what is in the bill, but, but to... Uh, pass a message to New Zealand, uh, and that is, read the story. Read, read New Zealand's unique story, because we do have a story to tell, Mr Speaker. And I, look, I, I, along with my colleagues, can't wait till the Māori Affairs Select Committee gets into Manutuke, and, uh, and uh, yeah, 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 you're welcome to, at my place. Um, <laughs> And to hear you know, some of the stories and uh, why we should be uh, making sure we pass this legislation. But sir, you can't call yourself a truly democratic society until all of your nation's sores have been healed. And you know, we uh, travel around the world and we talk about democracy and we talk about a truly democratic society, but sir, We've got to heal those wounds first of all before you can truly go and lecture other people around the world. 
So we have, have to hear the stories to be able to heal those wounds. And I, and I think that this, uh, this is the one of the ways that we do tell a story by not only settling with a group of people, but also enshrining in legislation that story that for generations to come, young people can pick up a book, a story, and read about our history. If you go to Matawhero, sir, uh, you will get some sense of uh, just a little bit of what happened, uh, the massacre at Matawhero. When I was at school, and I was a great scholar at Hillary College, <laughs> uh, Mr. Speaker, we used to learn, uh, we used to study this topic social studies. <laughs> and in it was always the story of how Te Koti massacred those people up at, at Matawhero. But when you read and behind the scenes, sir, and you read the story of what actually happened, it's no wonder he went on the rampage. Sir, Te Koti was a mate of the Crown, or so he, so he thought, uh, sir, until somebody stitched him up because of a business deal. He was a businessman. He most probably would have been a member of the National Party. <laughs> wow. Wow. Maybe. Maybe, Mr. Speaker. But, but he, he was stitched up quite nicely, sir, by a number of people who now reside uh, in the Udupa, just up in, in Makara, uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, these are fantastic uh, uh, opportunities to uh, pour out our soul as a nation and get on the road to uh, making sure our young people have something. I can't wait to, uh, for the day, whether I'm here or not, in the, in the chamber for the return of Tahoki Tūranga, uh, Mr Chair. Because, you know, you can kill a people and, and they always pop up, they always have uri. Um, but what the Crown did in stealing somebody's house, and it's not it's just a house, it was uh, the essence of Rongo Whakata. And so they've stolen that. They took it down here. That wasn't the end of it, sir, because some of the carvings over, that, over, over the period that the Dominion Museum had it were cut, were sawn, were, were made smaller than they were just to be able to fit in to the Dominion Museum. So the crime continues on. Not only did they take it, they tried to, uh, tried to render it uh, 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 smaller so it could fit in to a museum. Mr Speaker, I consider that to be... Uh, I was going to use the H word, but uh, I don't think I will. Um, but I consider it to be a, a heinous crime uh, that, that we are about to hopefully uh, uh, pay some reckon, recompense for, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, these bills aren't uh, done in the dead of night. They're not rushed through. How can anybody suggest to me or anybody else that they are rushed through when these people have been waiting for justice for hundreds of years? It is about time, sir, and I think I speak for all of the members of the House, that we revel in this sort of legislation. We should pat ourselves on the back for a job well done, and hopefully we won't take too long uh, through the committee process to get the bill back here for its third reading so that these people can get on with being who they are. Roma Whakata hard. Kia ora. Members, uh, if there's no further speakers, the questioners that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Rongo Whakata claims settlement bill, first reading. The question is that the Rongo Whakata claims settlement bill be considered by the Maori Affairs Committee. Those of that opinion will say aye. 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 To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Permission has been given for Waiata.
Members, uh, that concludes the business identified for the extended sitting. The House stands adjourned until 2pm on Tuesday the 20th of March 2012.